Hello there. Uh, welcome to the next video. Um, in this one, we're going to demonstrate how to um, configure a Cisco router with uh, connected to a switch. And the Cisco router is going to do uh, DHCP uh, and provide IP addressing to three different VLANs uh, through the, through the switch. Obviously, to, to devices connected on the switch. Okay, so we're going to have a server VLAN, we're going to have a laptop VLAN, and we're going to have PC VLAN, for example. So it's going to be one router running DHCP, um, three time VLANs connected to a switch. Uh, so uh, let's call it uh, laptops. Laptop VLAN will be 10. PC VLAN 20, server VLAN and 30. Now this is just for this exercise, just to show you. It's quite a simple configuration once you know how. Uh, but later later on the, on another video, there'll, there'll be more. Um, we, we will include IP phones as well for voice. Um, but let's let's stick to this for now. So I'm going to be doing all of this via packet tracer. So I'm going to go ahead and fire that up now. And what I'm going to do is now I'm, I'm going to draw this topology. So um, it, it's quite straightforward. You, you can even forward the video to, to the point where we start the configuration. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm starting from scratch. So so anyone who who is not familiar with Packet Tracer can follow follow and uh, obviously work alongside. All right. So let's let's go. So let's start up Packet Tracer, which is already there. Um, pick routers, which we clicked, and I'm going to pick uh, 2911. Okay, so that forms the basis of uh, the DHCP server, so to speak. Okay, and then we are going to choose a switch. Uh, let's choose 24 port. Okay, now what we're going to do is let's choose some end devices. So let's do the servers. Oh, let's do the laptops. So we'll do one here. Two. Uh, sorry about that. Two. Three. And PCs we'll put over here. Two. Click on PC with help. And three. And then servers. Um, here we go. Put over here one, two, three. Now, for completeness, we we're just going to label these quickly. So, I'm just going to draw a circle around here. Um, excuse me, close that. And we'll draw one here and here. So, we land 30. Twenty and VLAN ten. Okay, so that that forms the basis of our three VLANs uh, with devices inside. Okay. Um, oops, sorry. And now uh, we need to basically um, make the connections. What I'm going to do for the because obviously everything is going to get focused to the router zero. The, the labels will start getting very very uh, busy so I think it'd be easier um, easier to, to, to configure we'll, we'll connect the, the cables and then we'll, we'll configure um, the switch as we go along uh, you'll see what I mean when we do it okay so um, let's first um, what we will do let's do the router first we'll prepare the router configuration and then uh, we'll move on to the switch Okay, so let's go into here. This is a, a, a blank config, so we we'll press no to this. Uh, and there we have it. So I'm just going to expand this a bit so you can see a bit more of the screen. Okay, so what do we do first? First, we will set up the interface. Okay, so um, we're going to use fast Ethernet zero. Um, let's just do show IP. It's brief. Okay, in fact, we've got gigabit connection here so we'll use this one will form the basis of um, the the inter the the connection to the switch below okay so right so we do um, conf 
T interface fast Ethernet. No, sorry, gigabit Ethernet zero slash zero. Now we're going to do the sub interface for the each of the VLANs. So we'll do ten. We'll start with ten the the laptop VLAN. Okay, and we configure the encapsulation uh, for this. This tells it to, to work on um, VLAN ten, and um, we'll give it an IP address. 192.168.10.1.255.255.255.0 and um, that's it for that 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 uh, that sub interface. Now we'll we'll use the up arrow just to save some time. You can go through previous commands. We'll go back up, and we want to set another sub interface of 20 to cover the PC VLAN. So we'll do that. The, um, tell it to, to be VLAN 20. Okay. And uh, now we do the server VLAN. So we create the sub interface by going here and issuing this command 0 slash 0 dot 30. Uh, we'll do in caps 30. Tell it it's on VLAN 30. And we'll set an IP address uh, of 30.0, uh, 30.1. Right. So that's the router config complete. Let's just well for the time being okay uh, what we failed to do uh, was uh, do a no shut on the interface int because as you can see all of the more administrative deliveries shut down uh, gigabit zero slash zero no shut you should see all interfaces come up now there you go okay so uh, we will come back to the router to configure DHCP but I think now is a good time to set to start configuring the switch. So I'm going to close this. So what we're going to do now first, well, first we need to set up the the, the, the connection between the switch and the router. Um, so uh, let's go go and do that now. Now we'll use uh, fast uh, fast Ethernet zero slash twenty four. Okay, as a test, just to keep it out out of the way and easy to remember. Uh, and we'll connect it to uh, gigabit zero zero, which is the main interface we're using. So remember, we, we we split off sub interfaces off zero zero. Okay, so that's 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 going. Now, obviously, uh, this is going to be as default. It's going to be set to access mode. So, and we want this this interface to be um, talking or all, all of the three VLANs. So therefore, it needs to be set to a trunk. Uh, which is what we'll do first. So we'll go into here. Ian. So we'll do interface fast Ethernet. Sorry, conf t interface fast Ethernet zero slash twenty four switch port uh, mode trunk. Okay, so that's that set. And we'll just just write that config straight away for the time being so now what we want to do we start setting up the connections between the, the, the switch and the individual devices so we'll work on we'll work on 3 1 uh, sorry VLAN 30 for, for now so let's start that now so we'll start on fast Ethernet 0 1 connect to the server 0 uh, sorry so this could be your web server, this could be mail server, and this could be your your file server, so to speak. Uh, fast Ethernet zero two, and then Fast Ethernet zero three. Okay, so with those connected, um, let's just go into these devices first, and let's just have a look. IP configuration. Let's set these to DHCP. Okay, because we want to see this working. So that's that one, and then config. Uh, sorry, desktop, DHCP, and this one too. In fact, we don't need to do IPv6 because we're not doing this in this video. IPv6 in this video, so DHCP. Okay, so that's those three done. Now let's configure the. Uh, wh what we need to do now is so fast Ethernet uh, ports one to three should be uh, talking VLAN 30 on this switch. So that's what we're going to configure now. So config t uh, int 
uh, range, so because we're going to configure three interfaces at a time, you can do it individually, but this saves a lot of time. So we'll do int range fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 to fast Ethernet 0 slash 3. So, so now we're applying a config to those three ports at one time. Okay, so we want to do switch port mode access and uh, VLAN switch port mode um, access VLAN 30. Okay, so VLAN does not exist, creating, creating VLAN. Okay, so that's created those memberships, right? Um, so we'll leave that there for the time being. Next, we're going to do the VLAN 20. So port 4 to here, port 5 to this PC, port 6 to this PC. Just check. And the last one. And we'll go back to the switch config now. So we want to go, we press up arrow again. And now we'll just expand that. So we want to do uh, six. So now we're, we're configuring ports four to six inclusive. And then we'll go, this is going to be VLAN 20. Um, and set it to access mode 2. Okay, so it's, it's really that quick and that easy. And let's finally do the last one. Port 7. Port 8. And port 9. Okay, back to switch config. So port uh, 7 up to 9 inclusive VLAN 10 and then uh, access ports. Okay, so um, come out of here and here and we'll write that config. Okay, so the, the, the switch is now... In, in the most basic sense, is, is actually ready ready to receive um, DHCP or, or, or to serve it from the router. So what we need to do now, um, sorry, let me just check. Yeah, do apologise. We've just got to do that. Basically, what we need to do now is go back to the router and configure DHC three DHCP pools uh, for the various three VLANs, and then we'll be able to see everything working. Hopefully if everything's been done correctly. So I'm going back to the router. I'm going to expand this a little bit. Okay, and uh, so let me just set this up properly. Right, so config T. So let's do the, the VLAN 30 first. So IP DHCP pool. Uh, we'll call this servers. Okay, and then we do network. We made this the, the dot .30 network. So we'll do 192.168.30. Dot zero two five five two five five two five five zero. Okay, and we do IP DHCP pool PCs and it's network twenty. And then we'll do IP DHCP pool laptops and that is ten. One thing I didn't do, and I apologise for this, is, is obviously I've gone through these and, and set the three pools, but uh, we haven't set default gateway or DNS. So sorry about that. So we're going to go back to servers, and now, so now we're in the the, the servers pool. Uh, we want default router, and we want to give it the the sub interface IP address of the Cisco, and DNS. Let's say it's a it will serve DNS requests. This could be a, a, any any other DNS server on the network. Okay, and we'll do the same for. Um, uh, let's do the laptops, and the laptop LAN was the sub interface was 10.1, and then we do the PCs as well. Up, oh, do apologise. DNS service 10.1 and default rotor 10.1. Okay. Then we go back to D, uh, we do the the PC VLAN, 
uh, PC pool. Default router is 20.1 and DNS server 20.1. And we'll come out of here, come out of here, right. So there we have it. Um, let's just have a look now. Let's see if we hover over this. As you can see, the server has now picked up an IP address of 192.168.30.3 uh, because obviously it's a member of VLAN 30 which we configured on the switch and the, the pool is already set there as well. So as you can see, we've got 192.168.30.3. Default gateway is 192.168.30.1. Funnily enough, DNS server is not set. Um, that could be because I, I went in there again afterwards and we might need to do a refresh. Um, in fact, let's just do that now. Um, in fact, probably the easiest way to do that is set it back to static. Um, okay, and then we'll go back in there again and we'll set it back to DHCP. So it will request an IP address and then it looks like it's worked. So, um, yeah, there you go. DNS is is, is also 30.1. Alright, so now just to prove VLAN 20 is working, let's hover over to the PCs. We're on 20.1. Uh, I've done something there. What we'll do now, do apologise about this. Um, let's get set to static and back to, to dynamic. Let's see what happens. There you have it. So we've got 20.1 there as well. And hopefully over here we should be 10.1. Again, uh, because I went back in there and did a, re a config, um, it picked up the IP address but not the default router. So we'll just do that. Static and go back to DHCP again. And you should see it working straight away. And there you have it. So that, that is quite an easy, easy setup, easy config. Um, and uh, there we have it. So come back, come back to the channel because there's going to be more, more complex uh, with routing pro complex videos with routing protocols, um, and we're also going to cover a similar type of video, uh, but it's going to have um, uh, VoIP phones. So we're going to do VLAN tagging for for VoIP, and uh, yeah. So I, ho I hope you enjoyed the video. Apologies for the slight mistake in there um, with the, the default server, but um, yeah. Thanks again for watching, and uh, speak to you soon. Bye bye.